scared into the bed. Hey. hey. How's it going? Hello. Uh, I'm Tech Honors of Death Dynamic Shroud. Uh, that Chair. over there. But above me, we've got... I'm can equipped. You, can you hear us? Of Kevin. Can you... Can we, can we be heard? I think they can be heard. People can hear us. You can hear us, right? I'm probably. I look like I'm exponentially my louder name. than everyone else. Turn down a little bit. I need to. I need to say my name now. My name is. Uh, it's my name is Mark, and I'm our 23x and video 20xx VHS stills. Hey Mark. Uh, Mark. Yeah. Hi, I'm James. Hey James. Hey. What's how's it going? Hey, what's up, James? How you? Hey, I'm. That's James Webster. I'm Tech Honors of Destiny and Shroud. We got Kevin in the house. There's Mark. And You're live. Welcome, welcome to. <laughs> I know how. We're... Let's. <laughs> he, I would hear from Kevin first. Kevin. Yes. <laughs> Correct. Um, all right. That's right. That's I'm right. Going, I'm so, here. folks. Now we're all good. Uh, how are you? How, how are you? <laughs> We're gonna have some company, so. Yeah. Uh, okay. So. Ubuner. Uh, uh, Kibo, you're a little quiet. I'm a little quiet. Okay. Yeah, Kev Kevin uh, Equip uh, is uh, one of my closest friends, and so he's okay with me calling him Kibo. Uh, it sounds like a diet. You watch me. I'm on the Kibo diet. I'm on the Kibo diet. <laughs> Well, I want to be on that Kibo diet and get the bod that he's got. Am I right or am I yeah, right? We've been talking about his bod uh, I all like in I was, the, I was the maybe preamble. Too, I looked like I was too loud before, but now I look like I'm okay, right? You yeah. sound good to me. Okay, you sound great to me. What do the folks at home think? <laughs> uh, I hope it sounds who okay. Who knows? I, <laughs> I was stressing out before the stream. That we, Mark and I started setting this up early, and there's this weird audio glitch that keeps happening. Um, if you watched my Friday stream, you might have noticed it. But it basically, the audio starts glitching out if I don't have like our video chat window at the forefront of my computer. Um, if there's any, if there's any computer nerds in the chat uh, that I can put on this problem, uh, let me know because. Uh, it's really irritating. Whenever I make a change with an OBS, the audio engine starts freaking out, and it starts like like chopping up whatever's coming in, and it's really uh, stressful. So. My suggestion is should have got a Mac. It doesn't work Here on my go. Mac. <laughs> I don't think uh, OBS is I'm sorry. I'm yeah, sorry. I don't think now's the time for even Jack. I, I you, you know, I know, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I only fact, did it because there's it, an audience. It does not work on I... on on all three of my Macs. So, uh, how's that for compatibility? <laughs> <laughs> wow. It just works um, right. Well, if you hadn't noticed, we're inside of a Sony Vio UX Micro PC, and I don't think, aside from a video I sent you guys earlier about. Hackintoshing it, I don't think it, it runs anything but Windows XP. So nice. well, you should run what it's you know meant. Windows meant XP, to run. yeah, or Linux. Linux. Well, Anyone ever see that movie Belly? Belly? No. See the movie Belly? With, Never seen uh, the movie Belly. It's got before. some rapping guys in it, right? It's, yeah, it's got Nas in it. Um, <laughs> rapping <and> BMX. <laughs> anyway, there's a character called uh, Lennox. <laughs> Uh, and they're like Lennox. Lennox. Like Lennox so, Lewis, 90s like Lennox. heavyweight Annie champion. Lennox. Annie Lennox, 90s heavyweight champion. <laughs> uh, what is this device, Whit Music asks. Mark, why don't you tell us a little more about the Vio thing? Mark, you invented it. You're the expert, <laughs> so why don't you go ahead and talk about it? See, I invented I, I invented this PNG file. No, um, <laughs> we're basically, all I know about it is that it is like, a Sony Vio microcomputer, and uh, it seems like it was in that awkward era where like everything needed to have a, a physical solution, like multimedia. Like I needed to watch my my movies and listen to my MP3s and upload them all meticulously over hours with this micro USB 1.0 cable or whatever, and like take this device with me and it solves all my problems. When in reality, it's like a clunky thing that 
isn't really here nor there. You know, like it was like the end of the era the be- the, of computers, but the beginning of like MP3 players. So gotcha. is it like um, post PDA? Uh, PDA. PDA. <laughs> PDA. Uh, it's like a. It's like a. Like a. I don't know what you'd call that. Uh, that era, but like it's the it's compact definitely kind of, flash era. It's a solution to a problem that nobody really had. Um, but like, I guess it looks like it's fucking got the Spider-Man font on a keyboard and like, uh, looks like <laughs> oh, Neo, Neo would be using it. So I was like, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. It looks like it. a device that you use to like hack the matrix or whatever. Like, right. I don't know, I don't know if anyone in the chat's ever used this. You but... plug it into a public phone booth and somehow <laughs> right. you can like get somebody's bank account from it. This is motion, <laughs> motion eye on there. And, remember, like, oh, remember the movie War Games? That's one of my favorites. I had that shit on VHS and DVD. So there's yeah. that awesome uh, scene. I, I was obsessed with it as a child, uh, where he goes into a payphone booth, and uh, there's no there, he doesn't have any change. So he just like, like opens up the door of it, and he like looks on the ground, and then he finds a little what appears to be like like a like a soda can tab, uh, mm. but like you know the the other part that doesn't have the holes in it and he just picks it up and then he unscrews the top of the phone and then like puts it in there and then screws it back on and then he's able to make a call without using any change and <laughs> I, I, was I, like, I was like this is i should do this from now on that's awesome. <laughs> that yeah, he, he hacks his grades too which is cool what he a gives bad grades how about a nice game of chess how about global thermal nuclear war dude I had, I, okay, so I, had this, I had this piece of shit, compu- the very first computer I ever had, well, I don't think it was a real computer, it was some sort of like Commodore thing or something. Anyway, <laughs> uh, it only had like like games, like it didn't have any like word processing or anything like that on it. And uh, it had, I had this, uh, what are they, like a three and a half inch floppy disk, disk is what they used. Mm-hmm. And uh, it said, it had a sticker on it that just said war games that somebody had handwritten. Nice. And, uh, and I, I, I put it in, and it, it, it did speak. It, it, when you, uh, you could choose, uh, you could choose to play chess among some other games, but you could also choose to play uh, global thermonuclear war. And when you selected that, uh, it would say, "How about a game of ch- a nice game of chess or something?" Uh, that's and then cool. if you could, if you still said you wanted to play global thermonuclear war, it would say, "Playing lab all thermonuclear." <laughs> 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 it didn't sound anything like that. Oh, <laughs> That's uh, pretty cool. That's awesome. <laughs> um, Kevin, the only way to contact you where you are is via uh, email, right? Yes. Okay, I'm, I'm emailing on, you something now. I'm on control, alt, delete island. <laughs> You're in the what? PC void. There's no way to send anything to Kevin, but... Other than electronic mail right now. It's a joke because Mark keeps trying to send me iChat links for show stuff, and uh, they haven't invented iChat for Windows yet, so I'm like... Oh, yikes. And I was joking around because, uh, like, a a couple days ago, I just wanted to add some new games to a micro SD card, and I opened the computer from a cold boot, and I selected the micro SD and then it said Windows not responding, and uh, I had to Control Alt Delete to get out. And it, I just oh, thought that was the, the stupidest thing ever. I couldn't even get into a micro SD card. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry I made the jab about Max because uh, oh, I dude. thought about doing it before, like when you were happy. But I obviously wasn't gonna say it like before the stream when everything was going to shit. I'm an asshole, so in the back of my head I'm thinking it, but I'm like I'm not gonna let this out. Poor. Kevin is like so frustrated and pissed off right now. I hate I don't both OSs him. equally, so <coughs> it's totally well, fine. Well, that's, that's I, I, I appreciate crazy. the Windows. I mean, that's throwing out the baby the with Mac the bathwater, baby. I don't need a. I don't even know. <laughs> oh, oh, but uh. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, Riley. You're awesome. A junior. How is Google Meets working out for us? How would you? Uh, how would you guys? How would you? Know? How would you, you know what? <laughs> how would you? 
I don't have to have a second computer hooked up. So that's that's uh, that's the plus here. Is um, I was also joking with Mark, sending him pictures from Serial Experiments Lane, um, when her room just gets totally overrun by computers and cables and stuff. And uh, I already have to have the um, this this cart rolled up with my um, mixer on it. And then if I have if I like want to use Skype, it's like I have to. For some reason, the Windows version of OBS is dumb, and you can't window capture Skype. So you, the only way to do it is to display capture, and the only secondary display I have is this giant hulking CRT. And then, like, finding the the, the HDMI to VGA adapter, plugging that in, getting that all set up is, like, another layer of, of stress. And then having to run an additional laptop with Skype on top of that is just, like, it's too much, and it makes my brain want to explode. So any any step that can like simplify the virtual desktop experience by like by like one less uh, cable run, uh, the better. <laughs> so well, I I, I, I I'm must say for that reason I'm saying thank you because I know that you're kind of doing this as a favor to me, which I appreciate. Um, oh, it's fine because I know I've been I've been uh, persona non grata. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and I know I've been uh, incommunicado, <laughs> uh, and I'm are sorry, you also, are you a major but it's been Latin a very now, challenging too? week, all right, for yeah. all of us. And I'm not I'm gonna, asking. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put myself up on the cross. I'm not gonna do that. We do it all um, for you, the viewer. <laughs> You've been avec aroma naturel. Uh, sorry, I'm just reading this this can. Ah, uh, with natural it's, scent. Natural flavors. Nice. Live uh, flavors. Same thing. Is that the scent? <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, my favorite scent. Mm, wait, may contain strange scent. Uh, well, aroma. Uh, so, so, no, yeah, yeah. Hey. Contains uh, artificial stench. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> artificial stench. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, this uh, this camera effect is kind of wacky. I, I got I got to ask James. Why would you say it's been such a busy week? Well, so it's good news for the Shroudies out there, um, because Tech, Keith, and myself have been finishing the new Destiny of Shroud album. That's what it sounded like. You may fire when ready. Uh, yeah, it's it's uh it's like. We're looking at like ninety-eight percent done. About wow. ninety-eight tracks. Ninety-six. About, about ninety-six. Two thousand five hundred hours uh, here or there, you know. Give or take, plus or minus a year. Talking about a, a seventy-six CD box set. So uh, <laughs> it is the the thing is. So I was kind of mixing and mastering it at the same time. Oh, hey, my God. Hey. oh wow. watching the stream from my bed in three sixty p. Sending happy thoughts to all of you and everyone in the chat. Thank you so Thank much. You very much. Thank you. That's How do we, can delicious. you can you see us? Can you make out our faces in 360p? <laughs> it's probably <laughs> better. It probably touches me up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even have to shower before the stream. Oh, you did. I saw you in your robe. No, I think he's saying he didn't I had to. That was that was a stress shower oh. cuz I, I I was getting a cold sweat uh, trying to work out the audio glitches, so is that what you were doing like five minutes before the stream started? Yeah, I like I was wow. about to freak out and like, you know, throw something at the wall. And I, I can't believe I made a Mac <laughs> joke. That was really selfish and it was public and I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm I'm You're truly so sorry. sorry <laughs> but they we don't. all know it's gonna happen again, so I'm only so sorry. Yeah. But, you know. I'm only so sorry. <laughs> what an amazing apology! Be like, I am so sorry, but I'm only. So that, sorry. that would be when I when I get when I get canceled or whatever, and I have to do some like humiliating Twitter apology. I'll be like, I'm sorry. Uh, I know that I caused pain, and I know that I hurt. Um, people, and I'm I'm truly sorry. I will do better. I've learned from this, mm -hmm. but I'm only so sorry because it's <laughs> gonna mean, happen again. <laughs> everyone, I feel like everyone here deserves to know my PC stance, and that it's I've I've been a Mac guy since I was 14 years old, and I only got this PC in January of 2020, 
because neither of my other Macs could handle streaming. And I tried so hard to make it work on my 2011 iMac and my 2015 MacBook and could not afford a new Mac in 2020. So I had to build a PC in order to make the streaming thing happen. So it was of necessity because my two beloved Macs failed me. And that's the well, only here's, reason. Here's, here's the question. Here's the question. But I, I don't. I don't like Windows. It's not fun for me to use. It's just there. If you, look, no, if you hold, have on, a, hold on. I, 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 I've got the totem. Yeah. <laughs> it's just if you know, we're talking. You know, gun to your head. You have to only be allowed to use Mac or um, Windows uh, for the rest of your life. You gotta choose one. Which would you choose? Gun to head Mac. No, there's no question there. Okay. That's why we're still friends, and it's all good. <laughs> yeah, I, it's I it's was, not a question uh, of computation. It's a question of class. I mean, I, uh, at the risk of uh, <laughs> being, you know, hailed as a evil capitalistic pig, I have uh, stock in Apple, but I do not have stock in Windows. So, oh, I, there you go. I, I actually, <laughs> I was. Uh, I mean, not to humble brag, but I was talking to Adam Kane in DMs, all right, because <laughs> we're cool like that. And uh, we were... Um, you guys don't uh, text? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, no, he, so he, he was, he's, uh, he's getting into Blender, and he was thinking about getting the new oh, nice. Mac I've got Mini, a blend tech. The, That's pretty sick. Yeah, the, the M1 Mac <laughs> Mini, which is like lightning fast and, and pretty cheap. Um, yeah. And he's like, but I'm looking on forums and everyone here makes fun of people that run Blender on Macs. And they're like, you need like a three button mouse? I'm like, dude, <laughs> like, you can't go on the internet and expect to, to hear, you know, positive things about Apple. But I finally, I finally figured out a way to explain my preference and I think an eloquent way. So I pulled up the DM here and I'd like to recite it if I oh, may. Oh, here we go. Okay. Um, I'm I said, uh, people want different things out of computers. PC people tend to look at them as tools that run software, as if operating system is. is as is as if the operating system is irrelevant. Okay, and there is some truth in that. I go on to say, um, but I find it difficult to use Windows emotionally. Like if there was some sick studio that I could use. But I had to drive to Walmart, go inside past the greeters, navigate through the gross ads and screaming children and ugly signs, and then it was in a smelly room in the back, and it had all the tools and could do all these things and maybe even be faster than my Mac, but I'd still have to walk through a smelly Walmart to get there, and that just kills my spirit, and that's just the bottom line. So, you know... Take that however you want to. That's just the way I feel. Yeah. I don't want to go to Walmart to have to uh, screen capture to use fucking Skype and OBS. No thanks. Uh, <laughs> I like if Walmart. My... <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> they got good prices, man. You can get the groceries. You can get your home goods. You can oh, get all uh, in one place. speaking of Walmart. Okay, so you got you got. Let's get let's take stock of this. See you the, got all right, here, stock in Apple. I, I, I get that. Supporting Walmart. Um, <laughs> yeah, I order from Amazon too. Fire me. <laughs> I, me. I do. Um, I do. I'm so many NFTs okay, like, you got. <laughs> I at my in my contractor experience, I am a Milwaukee Power Tools kind of guy. Okay, but I will admit that Milwaukee makes a shitty air compressor, and I had to buy a Dewalt air compressor, and I'm not well, a Dewalt say. guy. Oh, yeah. But I'm like, I, I will, I will admit that Dewalt <laughs> makes a better air compressor than Milwaukee. So sometimes it's just about what the best, what what's going to get the job done. What's the best tool? So I'm just a, I'm not a utility, for me, buddy. Utilitarian <laughs> tools, dude. Um, not for but, me, with buddy. no brand loyalty, you know. It's not about brand loyalty. I do, I don't stand by Apple through all of Ed their. Junior, Ed Junior, shitty. thank you. I like Windows. Ed Junior likes I'm Windows. I'm because oh. of that. That really sucks. Sorry for being a Windows user. Can't do anything about it. Ed Junior, <laughs> hey, I love you. you. It's all good. I don't hate anyone, like except for <laughs> maybe Bill Gates, but he's at the top of the chain, <laughs> and he's a dirty little Epstein pedophile. So I don't want anything to do with that guy. So you know, I'm out. He's the only guy I truly hate on this earth. Everyone else, whatever, you know? What about Speaking of which, uh, 
<laughs> what? What do you got? For me? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Give me the emerald to die. I don't love you. And what about Trump? <laughs> you like that cut? <laughs> I'm just. I'm just. Trump is just. He's just. I'm just so tired of Donald Trump and just sick of it and unimpressed. But like, it's like a yeah, it's like a mental illness meme. Like I don't need to see any more of them. Yeah. God. It's just. <sighs> Yeah. frustrating and annoying yeah yeah but it's like that uh there's an old episode of the office where uh, i forget what the situation is but you know it's gabe you know the real lanky character and he's uh talking to like his uh ex-girlfriend's new boyfriend and he's like so uh what kind of music do you listen to and he's like I, I i don't know i guess i like everything he's like oh you like everything even songs of hate <laughs> <laughs> So Windows is a song of hate for James. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, Kevin, I just sent you something very important, so check okay. your email, and we'll get to that a little bit later. For now, I'm going to refill my coffee. I'm, oh. so, I'm, I'm oh, yeah. not trying to be so adversarial. I am legitimately like sleep deprived and loopy, and um, did you just I'm say deprived? Mood. What? What? <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm uh, gonna Kevin, plead yeah. the fifth. <laughs> the, uh, the, the email that I sent you is something about PCs that I think will be common ground that we can all agree on. Nice. Should we pull we'll it up? We'll see when James returns if Should that's pull it up in the browser even view? fucking possible. But... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's just I, like I had this aunt and she was just a craft cheese person. She wouldn't eat any other cheese and it weirded me out. It's like, man, Sounds there's there's other person. there's other brands of of people that make cheese and it, you know your insistence on on using craft in like you well know, like craft singles just like you know like <laughs> it, it would no matter what kind of cheese it would have to be craft like block cheese or like singles or like shredded cheese and it's just like not nah, like that's you know like yeah. it's the same thing with with the tools it's like if i'm if i'm shooting it's exactly the same compressed air and, and nails into the wall i'm going with dewalt I can't Milwaukee. follow you on the tool thing, man. I just well, can't take it. But I, mean, I, I, I can't. I can't follow you on the tool thing because I don't know anything about tools. But I understand the general concept. I think for me, there are some things that I am brand loyal about uh, because I just. Well, I, but but it's not on like a, not on like a broad. Like I wouldn't be like, oh, I only buy Nabisco. <laughs> you know. Like, yeah. It's like for, fuck Keebler. I'm only buying Nabisco. Yeah. Or like I only eat post cereals. So you can get the fuck out of here with your General Mills, you know? I'm not like that. You know but, a lot about cereal. Uh, maybe I do, maybe I don't. I mean, I just can't even think of that many cereal brand names off the top of my head. I actually, I really lucked out because Post came to me naturally, but General Mills I had to think of while I was talking. Uh, and I was like running out of time and it like pulled it out the very last second. So it sounded like I knew. All right, I'm gonna try to juggle to this browser view without messing uh, up the whole stream. So let's cross your fingers and hold your breath here. Oh. It's there. Did it? Are we good? It's there, it. yeah. It. Okay, okay, right, so cool. this is, uh, we can wait for James, we can wait for James for this slideshow. Only a little bit <laughs> of that, a hiccup. What's that, what's that purple monkey's name again? Dude, it's your buddy, come on. You don't know your buddy's name yet? It's Bonzi. Oh, Bonzi, buddy. <laughs> is on. it Bonzi or Bonsai? That's that's the question. I think it's Bonzi. Well, isn't it B O N? Is it B O N Z I or B O N S I? It's B O N Z I. Without yeah, the right. A. Without the uh, A. No way. Yeah. But yeah, so then that comes off as Bonzi to that me. That is a nice there's actually computer. A, there was a there was a football player whose name was B O N Z I B O N Z I, and uh, Bonzi Wells, and he didn't go by Bonsai because it's not how you pronounce B O N Z I. <laughs> All right, then mystery solved. Yeah. Um, Let's just hope that uh, that the Bonzi buddy isn't a symbol of hate or something, and we've been misusing it accidentally. All right, here's here's a legit question, and this is there's no sarcasm behind this, but did you have the alphabet song in school, Mark? Uh, yeah. A B C D E F G. Okay, what say, happens when um, they get down to Z? Do they go? X, Y, just, Z, or because it doesn't run. W, X, Y, and Z, even though it doesn't run. 
Yeah, yeah. Um, I've never heard this before. <laughs> no. um, basically, the uh, the teacher it depends on the teacher. They usually just sing it Z, and then they're like, or like, and sometimes Z or something. They add a little. Uh, a little and sometimes Z. <laughs> yeah. So. That's yeah. But, okay, because with my alphabet song, with the A B C D E F G. <laughs> I thought you just sang it to the tune of the national anthem or whatever Damn. in America. Why would I do that? Patriotism? <laughs> that's a good point, Mark. And that's why we keep you around. <laughs> it's just like well, it's, a, uh, a craft like single flag flapping in the wind. Just craft singles yeah. there. In American schools, we were taught "God Save the Queen," um, but as a super patriotic song. We made um, it, man. I <laughs> <laughs> um. uh, I was gonna ask Mark when you sang the alphabet song in your childhood. Did you have to include letters with circumflexes? Because uh. you're all French. No, see, this is this is the whole other thing is that that we were just talking about this pre-stream is that like everything like tech asks if I know French, and trust me, just like every person that I've ever talked to in Europe, like the second question they ask me to like or just start speaking to me in French, and I'm like, no, I'm gonna disappoint you right off the bat here. Like, I, we don't do that. Like, in Canada, it's a weird, it's weird circumflex, man. <laughs> um, but everything we buy has French on it, you know, so we all know Jesus. cereal box French. But look at this absolute unit. Okay, can you like full screen this or something? This this is a PC conversation ah! where we, we're all on the same page. My love. You know? Yeah, I, I love vintage PCs. They're fucking great. No, we're not all on the same page. Are you talking about that one computer that you guys were talking about the other day? Where With you guys the mini were... disc built in? The media center? You don't center? like that? Tech? I, mean, look, yeah, I thought the whole thing, I thought, I, yeah, this thing right here? Hmm. Yeah. I don't, don't like give that. a rat's. I don't give a rat's patukus about this. This is you the guys, whole bio series. <laughs> you guys were so into this, like in like in the text in the group yeah, chat, and I, I decided I not to from kiss on the parade. Me. But um, yeah, I I, I'm, I gotta come out with it, and I gotta say I I don't care about this. This does nothing for me. That's the answer. But what about I the other from bios? the dude wearing the same shirt as yesterday? No, <laughs> different yellow, and it was a V neck yesterday. So. Do it. you like that? Do you like that tech? Look at that picture. Does that not say speak to you on any level? That's like, I can't that's like anime it. vaporwave. Well, I like that one more than I like the the other one. Dude, it's got a mini disc play. You put your mini disc into your computer. You that's stick fucking them crazy. In, dude. And that screen is like orange, like LED. Uh, like it's probably square LED. Okay. This isn't this isn't nice hot takes pixels. vapor, but this is a hot take. I don't. I don't fucking give a shit about mini discs. I I don't like them. I well, all right. So I don't like you had either. them as a child, and I thought they were cool. And that's I think why I'm connected to them because I like mastered my first albums by plugging my four track that I still use for TDS into a mini disc. Okay, that's pretty uh, sick. It was like a my dad got a refurbished like mini disc home console unit as a part of our like thing. And so I used to go to high school with like a mini disc player and I would program in the names of the songs one letter at a time with like yeah. the turning knob. Nice. That's but it was sick. like, oh my God, I can see the name of the song. Even yeah, though I so already cool. know it because <laughs> it's like Dark Side of the Moon or whatever. So this, so this is where it starts to lose me. This, yeah, yeah, this, they kind uh, of jump the shark. Well, yeah, that's yeah. Just, that's this just little an, curvature like a, here, it doesn't really... And they're, but they're overall, trying too hard to modernize. Bio, this one too does they, not do anything. They tried for to me. encapsulate like industrial design and yeah. like multimedia. There we go. It was, it was so, a moment. Like yeah, this, it was a moment. This is sick. Yeah, but this is I, meta. The one that we're on, the Sony Vio UX or really fucking whatever, is a little yeah. bit matrixy, which is good. Mm -hmm. I wonder. Oh, let's do some live eBaying here. Let's see how much we can get one of these for. What is this? A Vio UX? Yeah. Okay. This like is buy it. This is my favorite part part of the <laughs> yeah, My motto man, is just buy, just buy it. <laughs> I love that too. That's why I'm wearing this fucking stupid sweater. I love it. Man. I saw it on a Sega shop. You know what like, one of my old coworkers used to say? That is still my motto today. As far as like like getting Ubers in the wintertime, he'd be like, swipe it and forget it. <laughs> 
B donated B. Oh. This is what I do when I'm tired. Take, Sango you donated make fun of me five dollars. Hi everyone, thanks hey, again thank for you. streaming. Thank Aww. you. Hey, look, it's like I'm in, I'm in a, a 3D thank Hobbit you. movie. Ooh. Uh, thank I'm you, holding Sango, the sword up you, to B. you. Or it's a lightsaber in episode three. Ooh, it comes to a point. <laughs> so look at this shit, man. This is uh, 850 goddamn dollars for one of these. That's a bad deal. Whoa. Um, yeah, I mean this one's Click only on. three fifty, but I wonder so why they're collectible as fuck. Huh? I wonder why this one's so expensive. Looks like oh damn, they put an SSD in that one. I mean, it looks like a fucking PSP or Switch on Parts steroids, only. honestly. Okay, so it looks like they're they're expensive. You can't just get one. I O U X. Dude, swipe it and forget it. Swipe Yo, it you think three hundred dollars is expensive? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, uh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> What's like? Wow. Uh, what's like the most that you'll just just throw away on like an impulse buy like that? Two hundred dollars. Uh, six hundred. <laughs> Gonna go with a thousand <laughs> Canadian dollars. Wow. Well, what does that mean? Okay. Yeah. It's so we might like seven oh five or something. We could get one from Japan for cheaper, of course. It depends yeah. on how much money is in my bank account, when rent is due, when is the next yeah. time I can expect <clears throat> income. There are moments like post-stimulus when I bought this sweater where it's like, all right. Stimulus. But it doesn't even feel like I've purchased anything. And then it arrives in the mail and it's like, oh yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm not stimmy like, here. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing's thick. All right, like I'm, I'm drafting an email to Josh right it's, now. Uh, it's really soft on the inside. <laughs> I think he's talking about the fleece. I know. It looks I like know. a sponge. The, the sweater looks like a sponge fleece, screen printed, printed, nice quality. What did the tag say? Is it a proprietary thing or is it like Gildan or something? It is Gildan. <laughs> really? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh my fucking god. There, Sega Shop is Sega cheap. Shop. <laughs> I can't hey, believe that. Hey, this is a comfy sweater, can. though. It's I the can. really, it's the premium. Oh, I, I know. Yeah, no, man. It's a chill pants. It's a chill pants. That's your favorite brand. brand. And, I got, and I got Banana Republic on underneath it. This is from the outlet mall. That's from Gildan so. with another label sewed onto it. <laughs> <laughs> it's This one has a weird tag where it, it shows four bottles of water equals one t Here, let me, We got to uh, turn how off how the many NF, How many NFTs is that shirt, though? That's what I need to know. Oh my god. There's no fucking telling. NFT. What do, what do you think about? Point, point zero, 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 0.00001. See? See that yeah. guy? Yeah. Four wow. bottles of water. So this shirt is made out of water bottles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's green. <laughs> James Dude, this, one's been, this one's got a freaking TV in it. A TV tuner oh, yeah. card. Multimedia. I love the word multimedia. So, so yeah, multimedia was really actually, nice. um, it was an industry standard in the mid 90s that meant uh, like there were specific requirements that PCs had to meet in order to get the multimedia, <laughs> like multimedia ratio. ready badge on the box. Wow. Damn. And it was like you needed a CD ROM drive, you needed X amount of like RAM, etc., to like be able to handle, you know, 140p video or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Play a DVD or a VCD. They've but really you know, honestly, the for the price ratio here, for the price of these whack. All right, the most expensive uh, impulse buy that I have made in recent years was that micro computer that I bought. Um, oh yeah, that oh, was like IT guy computer. Yeah, That's that was like, like this. Yeah, that was like seven or eight hundred bucks. And it was designed like this, except it's a modern PC that the, runs. Now like this Windows is what I'm 10. talking about, but this is <laughs> this is not complete. See, that's only twenty what? bucks, but it's still it doesn't. Is that a bio? Uh, it just doesn't look as good without the whole setup, you know. There's new bio stuff on there since last week. Um, that was this is the we didn't search bio LX last week, but yeah, there's new Neo. bio stuff probably every day. It's like Neo going. Bio Fantasy. <laughs> Neo Vio Fantasy. Very good. Right. <laughs> Very good. But yeah, I mean, uh, this is new. This was not on there last week, was it? 
Uh, oh, that's damn. For, oh, that's nice. That's Two the that's the media station. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's only 138 bucks, my dudes. Buy it. Wow, you should buy that right now, man. Keep Wait, what, like shit. Here's the thing. Let me look at I O. Could Josh mail that to you? It is going to be too big for small packet airmail, so it's going to be so, like like DHL at like like six hundred dollars or something. To so ship. I don't know if you saw the IO in the back, but the reason it's a media station, that's a powered amp built into it. It has speaker yeah. cable outputs. That's fucking awesome. Jesus, that's why they call it a media station. That's so badass. That, that is, is really badass. Dude. That's cool. God. It has actual cool. passive speakers and a, and a line out if you just want to hook it up to your like you know your Denon amp or whatever. Yeah, it's so cool. So uh, that's does what it have I would an do amp? with it. I would put it in my like yeah. stereo rack, and then just like would, hang you, an you LCD an screen amp. from the wall, and then I would like just Sorry. run Milk Drop on it twenty four seven. Just run Winamp. <laughs> I would uh, put it next to that cool Roland's um, MTS ninety. Or MT90S uh, cassette deck thing that we got at uh, Hard Off. Tech that beautiful put it night in the trash. That's right. <laughs> uh, that's right, Kevin. Uh, I uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what uh, what you guys are even talking about anymore. Okay, so speakers, someday, I'm telling someday, you. Like, that's an amp built in. Sorry. <laughs> well, at, at this at, at this stage of my life, I have no desire to like own a house and put down roots. Right. Someday, when I'm old, I hope to own a place to put all my shit that eventually will just go away after I, I'm dead because I won't have any children, and that's fine. I'll give it all to you, Tech. If uh, we'll see which one dies first. <laughs> You're supposed to outlive me, though, so you can talk at my funeral about how I always helped with computer stuff. I know. So it's a if, lot of pressure. Is that in your will? It's, well, it's, it's sorry, spoken we have, we have a cry promise. Yeah. We... <laughs> hey, kid. I'm a computer. Wait, James, <laughs> it, it is a... have, we have a cry promise, which is um, when you you have to... A cry promise means that you... You, you have a shared moment together, and that you promise that after one of you dies, the other... Well, you promised to look back on that memory, and you promised to cry while thinking you gotta about cry it. about it. Wow. Yeah. 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 So and that's and the promise that I, I might keep. be. Oh, wow! This mode is awesome. How do you <laughs> get that angle a, like that? <laughs> Mobile mode. You can do that, maybe. in OBS? You can. Uh, yeah. Like left click it's and then go skew? to transform. It does not have skew. And you just have just to like a manually punch enough in angle. like eighteen that degrees or whatever. That is pretty convincing. I'm. You color me impressed. I need to get it, it has a just dock. a little bit bigger, but... Kevin, what can you tell us about the uh, street value of these docks? Oh, God. I don't know, I don't know anything about these docks. <laughs> what, uh, what's the biggest... <laughs> That's a nice uh, dock, what's, though. What's the biggest memory stick that you own, Kevin? Nice dock! Um... <laughs> you have a ma magic gate? I've this got uses a, a magic gate. I got a magic yes, gate to micro SD adapter recently for PSP. Dude, Kevin... How how big is your memory stick, dude? I think the biggest uh, <laughs> the biggest memory stick I got is a five twelve micro ST. Uh, uh, <laughs> impressive. <laughs> well, so okay, but the thing about uh, in tech, let me just try to break down what the appeal here is. Okay, the thing about an object like this, you look at this, and you know that the designers of this wanted you to use this every day. They wanted this to be sitting next to your bed as your alarm clock, and they wanted you to have technology wake you up with a smile, and then they expected you to like take it out of its holster and like brush your teeth while you like read the news on it. It's like this this like fantasy that extends out from the design that you could use it all the time for everything, even though who would and why? Yeah. Well, so it's. I I, but see, I, I think the the difference for me here is that like, it's kind of like you're just uh, not a fucking nerd. It's kind of it's kind of like um <laughs> maybe uh like uh, I don't know Mount Rushmore or something, or like even the Grand Canyon. Like I don't I don't have to see them. I can read about it and see pictures, and I'm good. 
I don't need the experience so much. All right, as well, you're, you're wrong about the Grand Canyon tech. You see that yeah. in person and you're gonna lose your shit. I'm taking I, you there. I, look, it's man, gonna be like, uh, I'm, what? But here's the thing, here's Parks the thing. Parks and Rec, I'm gonna drive you Nobody, there. Nobody ever seems to wanna give like the notion that like, like you can't <laughs> miss out on something that you never had a whole lot of interest in seeing to begin with. Well, no, that's- There's no that's, missing out, yeah, you can't. That's, that's like fine. we're there yeah, right now, you know? We don't need to go see Mount Rushmore because we that's, are there right like I can now. see it. I guarantee if I was there in person, I'd be like, it's a little smaller than I thought. It I'd actually be. is way smaller well, than it, you expect. It's so freaking far away and you need like like binoculars or something to see it. I mean, look at those trees. Like, I mean, yo, so. the thing about Mount Rushmore is like you think <laughs> NFTs are, are <laughs> as bad for the environment? <laughs> like, you know, they NFTs. carved these dudes into a fucking mountain and it was like a sacred ass mountain too like that is the whitest like most shittiest thing that americans have ever done it is a fucking disgrace mount rushmore why are people on twitter fucking canceling that they shit? are they have been it's really annoying how but, much uh, is sorry. the nft of mount rushmore though <laughs> you know well, what i what think we should know. cancel is gaming think about how much energy like <laughs> gaming takes like just plugging those consoles in and having the graphics cards well, and fans hey, just least, blasting, least, man. That's gaming sucks. at least produces joy. You know, there's nothing produced by GPUs solving math problems for no reason other than for you. To, but okay, hold on. I, I don't want to derail into this. Uh, I do want to like clear my good name here, and and maybe James, <laughs> maybe James can support me with, uh, if I don't articulate well enough here. But shiny crystal pistol said tech would be like, I don't know what stink meaner is, but he looking into the sunset and saying, man, fuck this shit. That's not true. That's not how I am. I look out my window all the time and think about how beautiful the sunset is and how fortunate I am to get to live in like this place that like, like overlooks it. Uh, but like, it's just, there's certain, there's just certain things that I just like, I don't, I just don't give a shit about experiencing them. And it won't, it doesn't take away anything from me to never get to experience it. But if, but you can't, if you were there, you would experience it. Yes, I don't, I, but then I'd have yes. no opportunity to miss out on it because I would have already experienced it. Yeah. Can, yeah, I, but, can I just I mean, tell I mean, you I mean, a quick story here? Like I found myself at the Grand Canyon, hung over, like feeling like I was gonna vomit. I didn't want to be there. We parked in the wrong spot and we had to like go through a graveyard and climb a fence to get to where you see the Grand Canyon. Is it dream? No, it really happened in 2017. I went to the Sedona Film Festival and I went to the Grand Canyon and I just didn't care either. But when you get there, it's like, wow, this is not like the pictures. This is no, like, it's, this I is know. like, no, look, it, blew my, it changed my life and I didn't That's even what I, understand. I understand. <laughs> I totally, I'm trying to explain to Martha. I know you understand, but like, I, I totally believe that with every fiber of my existence that if I saw the Grand Canyon, I would be like, holy shit, yeah, this is way more amazing than I like could have imagined it to be. But to never experience would just be absolutely no skin off my back whatsoever. Like, it just, I, it doesn't matter to me. So you it's more of like, like this skin off your teeth? And not experience it. Either skin off my teeth, skin off my back. It wouldn't be, is it fucking, is ripping the skin off me? Is not ripping the skin off me. Blue doggle. Anyways. <laughs> it's not pyramid heading me. <laughs> not pyramid wow. heading me. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Uh, Kevin, you're just reading the news, Kevin, there? Yeah. Kevin, this would be a great, a great time to segue into my new special situation. Okay. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have a new segment, a new recurring segment on the show. Please get excited about it because I'm the star. And uh, you're going to have to get into a mode and like pin my video so I'm full screen. That's the only way this can work. Okay. Uh -oh. um, this is going to be very it's, complicated. I think when cats do this, it's called stumping. Okay. You know, they they stand no. up on their hind legs and go like. <laughs> it's called. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> oh, we can we can Google video I mean, I'm, I'm I'm stumping I'm after. Oh uh, no! Hey, I just uh, how does that apply? I think you wanted you wanted the video to yourself. You wanted to stand up and. I think it's, it's, it's called stumping. Yes, this is indeed a hostile James takeover. Get ready. It's not hostile when you're stumping. Oh, it's, it's hostile. So what's going to happen <laughs> is the... Um, Just the, drag the image and the it should be right on top. The audio is going to get all chopped up, but I'm going to 
just blow up the... So no one say anything. Okay. <laughs> well, no, well, well, I can actually uh, oh, play this with the folks at home. Oh, so welcome to Jamestown, <laughs> featuring <laughs> the illusions of master illusionist James Webster. That's right, folks. My birthday's coming up in, in four months. My birthday. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was with them at the outlet mall when I visited them in Dayton, <laughs> the same outlet mall where I got this Banana Republic t-shirt. And we were in a brain games store. And do you remember those those huge magic sets? Where it's like 450 tricks. Dude, um, and it shows cups and balls and rings and rabbits and boxes, all those things, right? I always wanted one when I was a kid because I used to go to uh, this place called Toy Train Hobby with my dad because he was into model trains and shit. And they always had them there. And I'd be like, Dad, let me get this. He's like, man, that's just a bunch of cheap crap. I'm not getting that. I'm like, no way. Well, my parents saw that I was excited. And now that I'm an adult, um, they decided it was time. Um, so I got a big package in the mail. And here, let me just... Uh... Oh, my God. James is canceled for going to an outlet mall during a pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> folks, folks, you are in luck. Uh, because uh, let me just turn off my my background here, real quick. Let's turn that off. So here it is, folks. <laughs> wow. Read it and weep. <laughs> I am now a <laughs> master. Illusion. What's that brand? This, this, this is a brand. Uh, Phantasma. Uh, Phantasma, which What's I think is a character. In the corner, does it say live animals were harmed in the making of this magic <laughs> yes. kit? Who's that? So that this is basically it's, me. It's the Houdini. I thought it was Tesla. That is, yeah, they're the same guy. Yeah, Tesla invented <laughs> NFTs, so. Dude, did, did you know that? <laughs> did you know that Edison was just a fraud? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, let me tell you about Edison. Because he's. <laughs> Canceled. <laughs> I'm, I'm more of a Westinghouse guy. Yeah. How many how All many right. years of computer energy does a light bulb use? Dude, All how right, about so model train sets, it. man? Okay, so okay, so, so, so this so is everyone's this. everyone's getting a view of my desk now, which is kind of exciting for me. So here you can see I have some. Uh, ooh, bet you wish you had this. Ah, but you don't, <laughs> and you that? never will. <laughs> Um, oh. This, however, uh, you can get a, a better version of. Uh, it doesn't have the booklet, but it's not a, a CDR. So that's cool. That was for reference. Anyway, aha, so here we have the magic wand. And this is uh, what's going to make all of this incredible uh, illusionary action happen. And these are just some SD cards. All right, so here's the trick, folks. In front of me, I have a deck of cards, okay? Uh-huh. Uh, so how, uh, I'm gonna do this, uh, everyone at home is gonna play along and actually see this, okay? <laughs> you, I'm going to pick a card at random, okay. and I'm gonna show it to the camera. Okay. And my eyes will be closed, you'll just have to trust me. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm not messing around here. <laughs> I'm not messing around. My eyes will be closed. I'm not gonna look, okay? But I just need everyone in. Wow. I need I need your trust. I need you to believe gentlemen. me. This is not rigged. This is. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh no! What happened to James? Oh my God! Did it freeze? What the fuck is going on? He's frozen. Sorry, I was muted. I'm eating chips while Oh my this. god, yeah. he's frozen. Somebody oh, tell no. James he's frozen. Dear god. <laughs> I told him, maybe this is part of the illusion. Maybe he disappeared. Did James make himself disappear? I think so. 
<laughs> okay, somebody's yeah. gotta tell James these. Dude, you, okay, just for so everyone knows, Mark just ham instead of an N. He just said Frozam, as if James is gonna have any clue that. Oh, Alright. That's uh, tough. That's tough. Sorry. James, you. You. <laughs> okay, it's all good. I, I saw it happen and I caught it in time. So here's how it's going to work, folks. So okay. uh, I will be keeping my eyes closed, but it won't matter because the trick will be impressive whether you think I know what the card is or not. Okay? Hold on. Time out. Time out one more time. Um, moving the screen around fucks up the sound, hard to hear anything. So if we want to make James like the zoomed in, we need to do it and then wait a few seconds um, so that... Okay. Can yeah. you hear me a now? Any manipulation? I Sorry if, if you guys missed this. This will be fine. You can leave it like this. It's totally okay. fine. Do not okay. sweat it. All right? Okay. Okay. I'll just pull up the card. But look, for real, folks, my eyes are going to be closed. All right? I'm not fucking around I, here. Hey, I believe you. Do you see this? Do you understand what I possess here in this book? <laughs> folks, this is the Book of Secrets. <laughs> nice. Uh, this is so, I'm nice. just saying, who's <laughs> the fucking, real. who is the master? Who's got the wand here, all right? Yeah, Not yeah. one of those dumb twigs from Harry Potter. This is a real ass fucking, this is a magic wand from my generation, you know? Whatever you're into, dude. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to spread these cards out. Very thusly. And now... Tell me when to stop. Stop. Okay. Okay, now do you want me to go under? What's the safe word? Oh, um, yeah, <laughs> choose, choose, choose the one that's under. Choose the one that's underneath. Yeah, yeah. This that, one here. Yeah. All right. So let me clear these up. And so this is the car that you've selected, Tech. That's correct. Now I'm closing my eyes. I'm and I'm trusting. gonna and I'm gonna turn this card over. Okay. Here, in fact, here. Why don't I do this now? Your the card will never leave your sight. Okay. Yeah. Oh. It's, it's facing down. Okay, but you're still yeah. You're, it, it's you're still it, I'm looking at you. Okay. Your eyes are open, dude. <laughs> I know the card is right here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But I now can't close your eyes it. and show. Now my yeah. eyes are closed, and I'm even okay. gonna put a thing over it. Okay. Now hold look it at up. the card. Can okay, you, you see gotta it? Raise it up a little bit. Raise Can you it see up. it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone has the card. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay, so now I'm putting it down. Okay. My eyes are still closed. Or <laughs> <laughs> wide open. Uh, okay. Wide open. And so now I'm shuffling all the cards back together. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All magicians. <laughs> I had an accounting professor that made that noise. All right. All right. And you, uh, asset. All right. Liability. All right. Wow. So now I'm just Sorry. shuffling up the deck, shuffling sure. up the cards. Just minting it as an NFT. <laughs> God damn it. Easy now. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and cut the deck at random. Okay. Uh, would you like me to cut it again? Sure. Okay, I'm going to cut it again. Oh, whoops. There we go. And I'm just moving all these cards. I mean, there's no way. It's all right. it's chaos, right? Yeah. Chaos. Right. You Total guys remember chaos. the card, right? Yes. I don't know. Right. It looks like now, controlled chaos to me. So now uh, it's not controlled chaos. <laughs> that it's would chaos be the screen. <laughs> Guaranteed, though, I'm going to find the Emma rules. Okay. So now. <laughs> Chaos Whoa, <reigns>. I can, <laughs> Thank you, Whippy. I can like, feel it. I can feel the card in this deck. Okay? Oh my god. Now, I'm no gonna fucking use, way. No fucking I'm way. Use my wand. Chaos use raids. <laughs> okay. He's got a wand, there's no fucking way. And I'm pulling your card 
to the top of the deck, and it is the Five of Hearts. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up right now. I'm done. Out. I bet the whole Fucking deck is Five of Hearts. Come on. You want to talk shit? <laughs> is, is the whole deck Five of Hearts? That was a card you showed us earlier, right? We'll see the whole yeah, deck. Yeah, Mark. Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so that so Kevin, uh, show the title again, please. Okay. <laughs> Kevin, title. Kevin, title. <laughs> this has been Welcome to Jamestown, featuring the <laughs> illusions of Master Illusionist James Webster. So thank you, everyone. Uh, color yourself impressed. That is, is all uh, I'll say. And I please like look that. forward every week. I'm going to have a new illusion prepared <laughs> and so unless there are over 450 more episodes <laughs> uh, my favorite is the the transparent png background like made, <laughs> made, made bare thank you. Uh, it's thank you. that uh i googled magician transparent and it had all those fake transparency jpegs come up and i thought this One would be funny of... to uh um, to use so thanks for tuning in everyone um look forward perfect. to that in the future this is a uh... Man, I don't know if I should tell a like a drug-related story on the air, but it's it's kind of relevant to that. Um, one time I smoked salvia, nice. and then I I went I went through the couch into another dimension, and then when I I came out of the couch on the other side, and then I looked where I came, and there was a me-shaped hole in the couch, but it was the Photoshop PNG grid. Oh, oh my god! That's, and, that's um, called the Alpha Channel. It was terrifying. <laughs> So, uh, wow. yeah, never again, don't do that stuff, it's bad. It was legal at the time, so, yeah, whatever. What? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, um, Mom and Dad. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I'll, I'll segue there. Jamestown uh, originally appeared the secret that exists uh, cr uh, tangen tangentially. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I tripped up on a word like that today. It was so I was trying to say uh, colloquialism, yeah, and it was like a tour that I was giving to like like six new staff members, and I'm like trying to make my impression as like their boss's boss, you know, and I'm like, and you know, just it was known col colloquially. That's how I ended up. So I was like, oh, they think I'm a fucking idiot now. Um, <laughs> But I'm I'm not I swear I'm, I'm not I'm not though. Um, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, uh, Jamestown, uh, USA, um, originally appeared on Welcome to Dino Hour, uh, which is a show that I have on um, on Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern, and um, that show I'm happy to announce is moving to 100% Electronica. Are you uh, kidding me? Oh <laughs> man! Where's the uh, PNG? They I must know. be desperate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, so no, but it means that the 100% channel will now have a show Monday through Friday. They've got Welcome to Dino Hour on Monday. They've wow. got the Virtual Desktop Experience on Tuesday. They've got Chill Wave Live on Wednesday. they got the Big Stream on Thursdays. And they've got Hanging with the Quip on Fridays. That's pretty are you, awesome. Are you kidding me right now? So that's super... That's well, so I'm, much I'm stoked. I'm excited. That's so much content. And I'm, I'm also amped, and I'm revved up. Dude, well, congratulations, a... Tech. That's great that you've never run an episode of this show, and yet your own spinoff that you run by yourself. I was just going to say, uh, your layout was looking pretty darn capable. I saw that you had a <laughs> intro. Uh, Look, you had a main I view, a browser stuff. view, and uh, <laughs> some other additional elements in there. And. Uh, I, I think you're, you're. I think he's about ready. ready. He's about ready, guys. You're looking pretty ready. We're about to I, out the nest. Well, I'll have you know that all of my backgrounds are crowdsourced. Uh, my uh, friends and followers of the show uh, create the backgrounds for me. I can't open Photoshop on my computer right now, James. I haven't talked to you about that. Uh, Going to be a problem when it comes to this. No, it's mixed. Hey, we made a cry promise, so I'm. Uh, sorry. Uh, in this episode, we sourced our images um, from the crowd known as Google Images. And um, <laughs> hey, I bought Claris. She That's belongs true. to me. That was a ten dollars. I own stock photo. Claris. And I'm pretty sure that like, like she is 
the person that gets the money because she has a whole account with just pictures of her holding screens mm -hmm. uh, with green. Clarice Inky. Smart. Uh, Kevin, check your email real quick because I sent a relevant image. All right. <laughs> Refresh your email inbox quickly. <laughs> what is this? Clarice Feed Picks. James. No, no, no. <laughs> Whoa, wrong set. <laughs> undo, undo. <laughs> I don't know if we should yeah. air these, man. <laughs> Every time I send a work email and it's like message sent and you get undo for like 1.5 seconds and I'm always like, ah. <laughs> and I'm like, no, 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 it's good. And then as soon as it goes away, I'm like, ah, fucking typo. God. I have a, I have a weird panic moment thing that happens to me uh, way too regularly where after I get in my car, like I go somewhere and I park in a parking lot I get in the car, and as soon as I turn the car on and like get ready to like go, I think, "Oh God, what if this is the wrong car?" Uh, which is Damn. an insane thing to think once you've turned the car on and managed to unlock it, also. But it happens. True story. Um, <laughs> my mom and I, uh, when I was younger, left the College Hills Mall in Bloomington, Illinois, and got into our. 1994, I think, uh, Gallant, Mitsubishi Gallant. And then we both sat in the seats and then looked at each other and it's, uh, it smelled like a new car. And then we looked down and we looked around and we were like, this isn't our car. And we got out of it and it was, it was an identical car to what we had, but they had, so left, unlocked? they had left their doors unlocked. And we got oh my into God. the wrong car, so it, that's a legit fear. And well, so happen. No, it, it actually, yeah, it stemmed from uh, something that happened to me when I worked at Fast Signs. I like left work, and I was driving a red car. And when a car is red, <laughs> that's the only thing I see. Uh, also, if it's silver or any other color, that's all I know about the car. You, you don't so, see make and model. Right, I don't. Yeah, I just I judge the car by the contents of its character. So the inside of this car that I opened was uh, had a pack of cigarettes in the seat and my I don't smoke I've never smoked and my first thought was someone got in my car and smoked cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, truly then, wonderful the mind yeah. of a child <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah so um, but yeah so, but I'm terrified. Jamestown is a place it's a place where um, uh, my grandparents, rest in peace, um, owned a farm. And so I went there a lot when I was a kid and we used to drive by uh, this wow. water tower. And you can imagine me being a child, just being like, whoa, oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> damn. Did you think the same thing when you would uh, end up somehow near like downtown Dayton and where Webster Street is? Every time, still okay. to this day. Yeah, I know. I, Even to this day when I see it as an adult, I'm like, it's like James. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like my friend. <laughs> the magician, the, the great illusionist. Look how shitty this thing is. Like this just came off. Like it was like this in the box. It's amazing. It, it included uh, one of the like components in its own little protector, you have to see this to believe it, is uh, is this. Uh, I'll have to turn off my background again. This is a, a cup, right, that has like these pieces of cloth in it. Yeah. But like, it's just like one of these like oh, fucking knife, like <laughs> disposable <laughs> ass cups. Like, That's a solo This cup. is a, a $60 set. Dude, I played Jeez. beer pong at a better cups than those. I know. It's <laughs> like, wow, these people are making a fucking killing. The Man. markup is insane. Yeah. Yeah, good for them though, you know? Next step is NF minting the NFT of the magic set. And uh, yeah, it'll be really printing money. You know? God, did you see that eyeliner uh, tweet? That was like oh, yeah, the, the, the Adobe Media Encoder. He's like, wow, I can't believe Adobe included an NFT with every copy. <laughs> God, is that, I fuck it. It's like the new Kish. Like, did you see like what Elon Musk did? Like, yeah. I'm so fucking sick of this <laughs> like modern 3D shit. Like, I can't take it. Like the people in the vert in like the um in the the vapor sphere like they all do cool shit like i'm not talking about like my peeps but i mean just like the nft 
aesthetic in general. It's like, yeah. Oh, look, it's the human form, but it's holding a Bitcoin. Oh my God. Oh. Like, you know, I mean, it's as bad as those like paintings. Remember that painting of like, like the two like millennials back when millennials were young, like sitting on a couch, like blowing their brains out, and it was like likes were coming out of their brains. You know. Oh my it's, God. Like, it's that same kind of shit. You know, like yeah. oh, we just live for the likes and the retweets. Yeah. Life is so meaningless, millennials. Oh my God. <laughs> it's like the new version of that. Is like we are all cyber people living on the blockchain. It's like, dude, this is <laughs> literally just a database. It's not even cool. Like, God, <laughs> yeah, shut the yeah. fuck up. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's all great though. It's uh, it's wonderful to be alive. I love this earth and I love my friends and supporting <laughs> my friends. <laughs> I like the new generation. They give me hope. I do too. I just don't like. Uh, I'm just over the the style. I'm just it's played out. You know when Elon Musk starts doing it. Yeah, I know what you like, mean by associating a specific visual style. It's not supposed to do that by definition, but it's like it's now it has this aesthetic that's tied to it that doesn't appeal to you. Yeah, right. well, it, it is it is funny because it's like a the, the the style is like this sort of uh, uh, commodified, literally version of of um, like twenty eleven vaporwave on the uh, heart. Uh, yeah, it's, it's straight up. Yeah, and so it's this it's like very. Uh, it's like missing, like the Soul. yeah, like the, the like the the original uh, like I guess um, the authenticity of the of the movement yeah, that created it. Yeah, like being on the on the frontier, like on the forefront of it or whatever, mm. like that sort of adventurous spirit of it. It doesn't have that. It has this sort of just reconstructed. I don't know. No, no, that, all that said, though, there are some artists that are minting NFTs that are like, I'm really super happy to see them making a shitload of money because they deserve it. You know, like a, a lot of the people that post on Super Rare, you know, like Melty Buddy and Emma Mouse, like I, I, they deserve like a million dollars. So someone, <laughs> you know, like it's fine with me. You know, yeah, the, yeah. the concept it's is not good. all bad. I've, 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 yeah, I've repeatedly said that I think the uh, the concept is fine if you're into like collecting stuff uh, for any meaningless reason whatsoever. It's just obviously all the all the negative shit that surrounds it that uh, kind of it, ruins the fun. I, I, I have a right. I have a new collection that I just started this year um, that you was also probably swaps. equally destructive to the environment. Um, <laughs> these are uh, Marmalade Boy soundtracks. Oh Aww. my god. They're br they're Aren't these incredible? Wow. Beautiful. Like, musical memories from Nikki. This is how, amazing. How good are these? I like and, them a lot. And the discs, um, like, this is one of the best designed... Oh, that's beautiful. ...discs I think I have ever seen in my that's entire life. Like, like, that, that is amazing. Can you even believe that's real? So yeah, these are my NFTs, um, but they're like twenty bucks on eBay. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, dude, it's you gotta to... you gotta get Josh to to smuggle some over. Yeah, for you. you need to put a file on a Sony Bio X uh, UX and then sell it on eBay for ten thousand dollars, and that's the only place where there's the Damn. one copy. Like, well, yeah, we call that cold storage. So, um... but how could you ensure that there's no other copy? <sighs> Well, what is a copy, right? It's like Ichigo Ichie, right? It's like if we all came here tomorrow and said the same things at the same time and wore the same clothes, it would still be a different moment in time, right? So a different copy, copy of a copy. It's like a House of a Thousand Corpses when uh, the dude in the flannel is going off like, I'm surrounded by manufactured copies, you know? Um, it's like that. <laughs> it's exactly like that. So he has to turn Dwight into fish boy. That's the point of that movie. It's that Dwight Actually, from The Office turns into Fish Boy. Do you have any more CDs we can look at? Uh, within <laughs> arm's reach, uh, there's only one other one. Um, do you guys just, remember that Final Fantasy VIII CD that I bought? Like the mini CD yes. on Neo Gaia Tour with the, the, the CD single packaging? It's like a, me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a tall style. Of, yeah. So cool. It's got a, a post-it note on the front, but it's, uh, it's something. 
what the fuck? Uh, <laughs> uh, here, my bad. It's a uh, it's a uh, traditional uh, Japanese music, nice. and it's got one of those really great, um, like uh, Decca style early '90s, you know, classic, totally yeah, classic. Nice. I love the reflective CD look like yeah. that. Yeah, Kevin, you should Google Japanese single CD format or something because I'm kind of obsessed with that like style. I've looked into making it now and it doesn't seem like there's any way in North America to manufacture a CD that looks like this kind of packaging that- Is it, is it like the slim out. pack? Like it's, it's like, like the, it's tall. the tall and thin and it flaps open wide and- uh, Like this. And it's got like a mini CD GameCube oh. size in it. And it's like, I, I got a Final Fantasy VIII Eyes on Me single in Japan with you guys. Uh, I remember that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll see. If, it might be on my shelf right here. BRB. On the shelf everywhere. Is it on the shelf everywhere, Tech? Ha <laughs> ha! That one's just for Tech. Deep cut. Oh yeah, it's just sitting on my fucking desk like for five years straight. <laughs> Can you see? Jesus, it's so gorgeous. Just... And then the side is got for the, the, the oh, fuck. So and then the way that it opens. Fuck me. It's so look at awesome. that. Man. Fuck me up. <laughs> so it's just cool. incredible. Fucking yeah. blast me in the face with a shotgun. That's so fucking sick. God. Well, I mean, it's just a CD, man. But it is cool. That was an overreaction. <laughs> <laughs> oh, See, that is so sick, though. Yeah, God, that was... look at them. Think about how much of a cancelable offense making one of those would be. I mean, vinyl, man, that's like, you know, the carbon footprint of all the petroleum-based products that we make. But, but then, look, like... it's not the <laughs> NFTs that are the problem, all right? It's like all of cryptocurrency. And I think what's more infuriating than the environmental impact is that everyone suddenly decided to care about the environmental impact of cryptocurrency because one article was written it was on fucking Twitter, and now everyone's a fucking expert. And like, yeah, well, here's my opinion about NFTs. It's like, dude, what's the blockchain? Explain it to me. Break it down, bro. What? Tell me about it. You know? It's like, well, ugh. I read on Medium. I read a very interesting article on Medium. It's like, I think yeah, it. everyone read the same five Medium skim. Yeah, the same exactly. Five articles. That is why it's very, very. And the, the worst ones are like the 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 headlines that are like. NFTs are not going away. Why you should care? It's like, oh my <laughs> god! Like there's so many writers, and they're all just like vomiting into each other's mouths. Did, like, did you guys like, hear the era that? Of, like, did you guys that? hear that cassettes are coming back? <laughs> Here's why you should care. Vaporwave is dead. <laughs> well, Millennials <laughs> killed shopping malls. Here's why. <laughs> oh. I miss the internet from like 2007 because it was all focused on millennials and everything that we were doing. You know, how <laughs> just, we they're were destroying the mayonnaise. And now it's like they're oh. dismantling the mayonnaise industry. But you know, we're we're really only a solid five to ten years away from Gen Z experiencing what we're experiencing, where no one cares about us anymore, and it's all going to be Gen oh. Gen Z. I hate to break it to you, Gen Z has already spoken. About our skinny jeans and our fucking uh, oh, right, right. adulting and our uh, <laughs> we're well, gone, it, man. But you know, a lot of that, you know, like the concept of adulting is because we're the last generation that had any expectation of like home ownership or like you know living the life that our baby boomer parents had. A lot of Gen Z are raised by baby boomers too. You know, to be yeah, fair, yeah. <laughs> like there's really not that huge of a difference. Yeah. It's like the Gen cartoons we watch. Exactly. Yeah. It's like super, it's, super close. It's all good. Uh, Who cares? Yeah. It's the media dividing us. You know. Dude. Dude, yeah, I read this article on media. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they'll be like, oh, I wish I invested in NFT when I was, you know, my parents' age. Then I would have been a made man. And yeah, it's like the most, the, the, the most egregious thing of all to me. Like, the thing I can't stand more than, and yeah, never mind. It's, it's not... <laughs> no, I want to know. <laughs> no, it's... It, it's it's all good. Let's just, let's be, let's not be just a bunch of negative Nancys. It's, it's yeah. all good. We had a magic Bye. show. Let's just ride the high of the magic show. Let's get back to that energy. <laughs> it's it's all be, good. I think it would be funny if the generation after Gen Z 
uh, is uh, like they all like get really into NFTs and they're like, yeah, my idiot parents never invested in this shit. I don't know what their <laughs> fucking problem is. Uh, that would be funny. But um, yeah, you yeah, know, retirement Gen Z. Planning. All right, look, it was it was during it was during all the fucking like the, all the, the the horrible Trump years, which are you know thankfully behind us when. You know, certain people, like, when all the fascists revealed themselves in the vapor sphere and all the alt-right kids came out and all the edge lords started to get, like, became, like, came out as Republicans or whatever. But they always claimed that they weren't Republicans, right? It was always, no, man, like, I don't buy that narrative. And that's the difference between you and me is that, like, the media is, like, constructing a narrative that they want you to buy into. And it's like, bro... I saw Bowling for Columbine when I was like 13. Like, I'm not impressed by your ideas. Everyone knows that the media <laughs> is not unbiased and that they're presenting a narrative to keep you hooked on their own, you know, outputs and to continue to sell advertising, to sell you shit. Everyone fucking knows that. It's not news. You're not smart because you saw that fucking movie with the sunglasses. It was like, consume, like, dude. <laughs> it's like, we know how capitalism works. It's fine. It's cool. Maybe there's something beyond all of that, you know? Go to the Grand Canyon and, <laughs> and tell me, you know, that your shit posting matters. You know, just shut the fuck up. But that's probably what people think when I open my mouth every single time. So it's all good. Kevin, especially right now. I'm going to uh, mute myself. I was it's, just going to say, wow. um, that's a, I mean, that's right, right before you said, it, This is the drink. only way to be to be safe. <laughs> right before you said Grand <laughs> Canyon, I was just going to say, you know what's underrated are large, vast, unbroken bodies of water and bright, beautiful blue sky that stretches to the horizon. And when that bright, beautiful blue sky hits that body of water... And you just look out, and you can see that obviously the Earth is curved. Uh, it's it just it hits right, you know. But just take it home with you, <clears throat> and that's all that life's about, man. <laughs> I think yeah, I think I think that life is about the internet. <laughs> <laughs> that's my opinion. I don't think the curvature of the earth resonates with someone who owns the NFT of the Mariana Trench. So. Yeah, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, uh, I, I don't, you know, uh, care about, you know, anything. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Dude, did you know that MSNBC is just as bad as Fox News? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Can we can we do show and can we do show and tell? Can I show you guys something cool? I bought. I do show, show it. All right, I gotta that's go. What I gotta we're here get for. it. I showed, I showed Mark earlier. Oh, that's kind of magic. It works over time. Uh, give, give me a sec here. I'm gonna go get it. <laughs> you guys might not think it's as cool as I do, but would it be crazy if he just like showed you up with an amazing magic trick that just like blew yours out of the water? <laughs> it, it would not be hard to show up that magic trick. I mean, maybe it's, I think it's pretty impressive though. I don't honest. know how you did it. Okay. Exactly. Check this out. I'll reveal it off air after the stream. Okay. <laughs> so this is um, this is what I bought myself for this week. This is the uh, this is just one of them, but this is a this is a power block elite. You see this shit? Can you can you turn off your background real quick? Yeah. Oh, I saw this. I know what it is. It's already, a laptop charger. Talk, yeah. <laughs> I already talked Mark's ear off about it. Uh, I was like, shouldn't we be setting up this stream? There's a lot of things to troubleshoot. I was like, but, no. Uh, no, shut up, Mark. Okay. Check, check this out. <laughs> True story. So this is the Power Block Elite. And this is a, what the fuck? Is that a shake weight? <laughs> it's it's an expandable set of dumbbells. Uh, so instead oh, of, so it is a shake weight. Basically, but instead of buying, you know, like, you buy the, the 10 pound dumbbells and then you get used to them. <laughs> so you're supposed to move up then to the 15. And then you keep moving up, you know, until you're like lifting cars or whatever. But uh, that takes up a lot of room in your house. And I don't have a lot of room in my apartment. So I got this instead. And it's got like, I'll do the desk trick. It's, it's 
got like an interlocking system here. Yo, know, he's lifting all of them like he doesn't even care. Like, it's, it's, <laughs> anyone notice this? It's quite heavy. We've, so, we've seen the thumbnails, so we know what so he's you, capable of. You get this, uh, you get this thing, and you, you pull it out, and then you lock it in. So when you're in weakling mode, you know, like me, now you pull this out, and then it leaves the other set behind. But then when you want to like ramp it up, you know, you put it back in. And then you like change the <laughs> this music. The it's just changing. Then that e each block adds about ten pounds to it. I don't know. Damn. Can you show us your just, biceps right now? Neat. Uh maybe uh maybe after I've been hitting the power block for a couple of weeks now. Alright. All right. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'm a, it's a nice, I'm a flex. It's a nice so it's time uh, to have stats. Nice space saver. Um, <laughs> and yeah, it's it's like uh, that's pretty sweet. How much does it weigh to like to pick it up all at once? How much is it? It's fifty pounds at the max. Um, but they're also they're expandable too. So like if you get into like total Hulk mode and you can, you know, lift fifty pound barbells, you can get like expander plates that bring it up to like ninety pounds. But I'm gonna have a pretty significant amount of work cut out just to get the uh the 50 <laughs> lifted yeah. in, in one go it's quite heavy a lot yeah i had to bring 70 pounds of uh of a package that i can't say what was inside of it that i had to ship to tech yeah. uh but it was 70 pounds and it was so heavy and i had to take it to the fucking ups store that's inside of temple campus and it's inside of one of their like buildings all right Full disclosure, it was 70 pounds of cocaine. Nice. <laughs> uh, how do you think tech stays so skinny, guys? You think yeah. that's natural? Yo, it's Miami. Rails. Welcome Miami. to Miami. <laughs> Miami heat. Dripping down. Um, anyway, uh, there was two boxes. Each one was about uh, 35 pounds, and I had to carry them about 100 feet. That's By the end of that, yeah. I was like, fuck this. Dude. Um, so I can't imagine doing it for fun, Kevin. It, <laughs> How about the funny. UPS guy that had to bring two of them up to my doorstep? Oh, I wonder if he carried them both at the same time, or if he, you know, like like That's brought the, brought one up and then set it down and then went back to the truck and grabbed the other one. That Probably. is a yeah. tall staircase, too. Yeah, he's on floor two hundred and forty-three. At first, I was like, "What the hell? Forty dollars shipping? That's ridiculous." I was like, "Oh, it is." a hundred pounds of weights like that's and it's literally just weights <laughs> I get it I get it he's losing seconds off of his life because of that shit, you know? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, whatever he sold his body to UPS and that's the price he pays no, rough. that's his choice in our capitalist <laughs> I want a pair of those it's shorts. Like, I'm not he aligned lie. with them. Logistics. That's, that's one of my favorite, uh, like, asshole comeback lines. Like, hey, that's their choice. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when Kevin says, hey, you're the expert. Man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, that's their choice. Man. You're the hey, expert. Kevin, we have some kind of background thing going on here. You see it? Oh, yeah. I see it. Oh, there we go. Now it's gone. Now we're back to the beaches and the the shrimp crowns and the the whatever. Oh, that's it. Just beaches and shrimp crown. Well, wow, this uh, this background I just pulled it up on Twitch out of curiosity. We're like super smooth, but the background gif is like it goes and then it stops and then it goes and then it yeah. stops. It's kind of cool though. I dig. <laughs> Sorry, it's not 120 <laughs> FPS. For your gaming sensibilities, but uh, it's not IBS <laughs> <laughs> for sure. That's my go to thing that I find hilarious calling IPS irritable IBS. bowel syndrome. I IBS, yes, that's the true gamer's tool is uh, irritable bowel syndrome from all that monster energy drink and, ba and the balls drink or whatever. And talkies, you can get that gamer tool so you can play Halo 3, find out what Master Chief is up to. Wearing helmets. Wearing helmets. <laughs> All they know is killing the white uniforms. Yeah, I mean, Master Chief must have some gastrointestinal thing going on in there. Like, I'm sure his diet isn't great. Probably oh, not a lot shit. of vegetables. 
Tech, I gotta send you tracks. I forgot. I'm so sorry. I'm Bruh. gonna do this. I have gonna... Oh wait, yeah, I picked my tracks. I'm gonna mute myself again for this. So. Thank God. Tech, he's gonna be listening to his playlist. What? I hope they're magic themed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give us. Uh, this past week because uh, he's just been working on uh, mixing the new Death Dynamic Shroud tracks um, and listening to those over and over again. Oh, audio's glitching out, so that's good. The only um, music I did listen to. So I, I took a week off work and I worked on the album basically non-stop for nine days straight. Uh, kind of like what I did for Heavy Black Heart, but unlike that experience, this was a way better experience because when we recorded so much of the album um, together and I made sure and we all made sure not to make the same mistakes that we did last time that made the album impossible to decipher from a mixing standpoint, and I'm very pleased with the results. But I did need, you know, I'd work on the album for like nine to ten hours, and then I would have to come down because this album is high energy. Let me tell you, and my blood would just be like pumping through my system after listening to some of these tracks. Um, and so I came down by playing Time Stalkers, um, cool, nice. which I fucking nice. smashed and unlocked like all the hidden characters. Um, and oh, I just yeah, really went in on uh, Time Stalkers. You can get the um, guy from, which is not from a Land good Stalker, game. right? In Time Stalkers? Yes. That's awesome. What? You can get, uh, well, there's Cooks, and then there's some old man who's like a black mage. And then uh, you can get a ring that turns you into the Shining Force mascot. That's so sick. Um, the little mole guy. I did not get the ring, but I don't think I can play that game anymore. <laughs> Um, yeah, Time yeah. Stalkers, uh, there was an uh, like FAQ Entertainment. that I was using. Uh, there was an FAQ that I was using from back in the day, and it's one of those great old school, you know, dot .txt mm -hmm. game facts that uh, has a lot of personal touch in it. And I love this author um, because he has perfectly captured in one paragraph exactly correctly the allure of time stalkers and what i felt while playing through the game over the course of nine days and uh it is as follows and i quote um and oh i'm sorry this game guide is by uh z o m g oh so my uh, god <laughs> yeah so my god great great name very original and googleable anyway he says yeah well Time Stalkers was not a great game, I have to confess. Bugs, unbalanced gameplay, bad graphics, awful story, dot dot dot. Why the hell even bother with it? I don't know. I just know I couldn't stop playing till I finished it. And by finished it, I mean obtaining all characters, monsters, and getting the minor character stories as yellow text. That means listening to everything they had to say as well as witnessing all key events possible. But my item list was around 60% or something, so I'm not hardcore. Life sucks, huh? Maybe to you. Damn. Huh. But I mean, that's Grizzle. it in a nutshell. It's not a good game, but when you start playing it, you can't stop. And so maybe it is a good game, you know? There's but a lot you can't, about that. You can't articulate what you like about it enough to like explain. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, it's, I like that it's a bunch of randomly generated dungeons and you can capture a bunch of monsters and it's just mindless, literally mindless grinding um, mm -hmm. and getting items and just, you start at level one every dungeon and so you just are constantly leveling up every time you play it and it just fucking feels good. Hmm. I'll say that, I don't know, That's that. I feel like most roguelikes are kind of like that. Yeah, but they can definitely be a lot more <laughs> that, yeah, like, yeah, a lot sure. more than time stalkers. I mean, uh, like Pokemon too. It's like you know, what do you what do you expect you're gonna get out of it? You know, you're gonna get the same core gameplay that's in pretty much everyone. I thought you were talking about time splitters. Or that game's too. sick. That's the like, whole time. <laughs> I don't know. I was gone and I came back. And, and... it's funny because Sky Cafe, <laughs> the song Sky Cafe is playing right now, which is like a song about like not missing out on all the moments in life 
<laughs> you know, like not letting life pass you by because anything can be like a life altering event. But I'm just like, it's like, uh, my, it's like my favorite episode, uh, one of my favorite Simpson jokes of all time. I might have talked about this on stream. I'm not sure, but it's an episode where Homer almost dies uh, because he eats like the poison blowfish at a oh, Japanese restaurant, which in retrospect is like super racist, but whatever. Um, but at the end, he's finally alive, you know, um, and he's like, I'm never taking life for granted again. Um, and he has this like epiphany and then they cut to the credits and he's just sitting on the couch and he's eating uh, pork rinds or pork rinds and watching um, uh, bowling on TV. <laughs> he's like eating like the worst possible food, like literally deep fried pig skin like <laughs> yeah, he's he, eating it and like he gets watching uh, the, uh, the pamphlet that says so you're going to die <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, this pamphlet I, might help <laughs> i i got one of those recently for uh my cat it's like so your cat has asthma kind oh, of pamphlet. and oh, it's oh. it had a cute picture of a cat oh. i'm not trying to bring it down i just thought i, I thought of that exact episode with that pamphlet oh. because so you're going to die poor bees yeah, that. and he uh, he listens to uh, the Bible, but it's read by like some like sports announcer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, uh, that's a good one. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty, Pretty good. good. Old yeah. Simpsons. Uh, James, did you, pick your, did you pick your songs? That was the golden era. Yeah, uh, I actually I did listen to some music. Um, let me check my recently played on uh, iTunes. In my iTunes. I haven't listened to anything except for uh, my music for weeks. Hey, Dijon. Dijon. Put on the yeah, that big camera. So. Oh, what about thirteen? Is the thirteen Sentinel soundtrack? Dude, oh, it's, it's region it's locked. It pisses me off. Uh, it's there, but it's invisible. You just can't. You can't click on it. It's all right. Uh, when the sun hits. When the sun hits by Slow Dive. Okay. I listened to that entire are album. Are you doing your picks right now? Is that... Should we do it? We, yeah, we could just do it. Yeah, I'm doing it right now. Yeah, so uh, I'll... <laughs> okay, we'll do it. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and drop uh, that in uh, at the top of the When list. the sun hits. So... Um, I did listen to the Treasures of Otter Gone soundtrack again because I went through my oh, Final my. Fantasy XI soundtrack CDs for a photo shoot, and I think Final Fantasy XI is off the playlist right now oh is it so i think it's time to put it back on um treasures of otter gone is my favorite of the final fantasy 11 soundtracks let's put on uh we'll go with so jewel jeweled bow <laughs> that's such a james title jeweled bowels jewels wow. Betty. Real jewels. Real jewels, Betty. <laughs> Real I jewels. jewels. I don't God. care about jewels. <laughs> I just want. Uh, and then finally. Uh... <laughs> Betty only wants Final one Fantasy thing. Final Fantasy Prelude. Freaking disgusting. I. Uh... Sorry, I interrupted you. With the Final Fantasy. Oh, I got um. Oh, I was pissed about this. So, hey, do, bro. one of the things that got stolen when my house got broken into was my PlayStation 3 and my copy of Oblivion. The first thing that I bought Rick. before I when I before I thought about like, okay, I need to replace like the PS4 and my camera and my watch or whatever. I was like, I'm going to get the PS3 right now because this is a cheap thing to replace and I will immediately feel better if I have Oblivion in my house again. Um, I have it on my computer and all that, but I want the fucking PS3 version, all right? Don't did, ask did, me. Did it cloud save? No. Damn, um, that sucks. I lost my fucking house that I filled with books, Damn like it. piled to the ceiling for like a year. Yeah, it sucked ass. Um, but Dude. it's actually awesome because now I get to play it again. Um, yeah. yeah. What, what about your future funk watch? Is, was it okay? It was with me when I was in oh, Dayton. Nice. It was Thank my God. my Tommy Hill figure watch. Life uh, is a which circle. Was, yeah, life is a circle. Um, so I the first thing I ordered. So this is like December twenty third. I order Oblivion and a PS three on eBay. PS three comes no problemo, right? All good. 
Um, but this was right about the time when the USPS was all fucked. Um, because, yeah, I fucking hate Donald. Fuck Donald Trump. <laughs> that motherfucker fucked up the USPS beyond repair, and it is still fucked to this day. Fuck that piece of shit. I hate him. I hate Bill Gates and Donald Trump. And the, and the post office did it. That's the straw that broke the camel's back. Anyway, my copy of Oblivion doesn't come. Uh, it's supposed to be delivered on December 28th, doesn't show up. I go to the post office on January 28th. I'm like, hey, this was supposed to be here a month ago. Do you guys know where it is? And they're like, um, well, we were working with another post office because we were over capacity and uh, they should have it. So you should have it any day now. I'm like, okay. It's March. It never showed up. It, it was like 12 bucks. I'm like, honestly, I feel bad for the post office. I'm not going to, you know, it's... It's. I accept this as a casualty. It was twelve dollars. I'm gonna. I get on eBay. I buy it again. Well, this time it arrived in time. It comes. Fucking greatest hits version. No. Not only. With not only case? is it the red case. No. But it has the GameStop logo on it. No. Oh my god. Uh, GameStop exclusive Knights of the Nine map. I'm sorry, I would have just thrown it in the fucking nearest sewer grate that I found. Yeah, I've, so I've already, <laughs> I've already purchased it for a third time <laughs> with actual Jesus. photos of the one that they're actually selling. I know it's the right version. Oh, um, so, yeah, that was But yeah, things. not only is it greatest hits, Frick. but it's the greatest hits GameStop no. logo. Uh, version. And then you open it and there's like a all over blockbuster video sticker on the entire oh. face of the disc oh, how about that those a, that's just a bridge too far but Man. yeah i've just never struggled so much uh to get a game that i already own on a better platform <laughs> but yeah whatever you know dude you should but, soft mod your ps3 it's awesome it takes about gonna, uh 15 minutes and there's i'd uh, like to the old ge old systems, that's cool, but you know, PS3 and on, it's like it's fine. You know, I just PS3 yeah, is pretty old now. That's vintage. Well, here's here's what you can do is you can play the delisted games that Sony has, uh, you know, just stopped selling on the online marketplace, which is pretty sick. That is actually well, cool. there's there's a bunch of it's... Sega games too, like Afterburner, Climax, and uh, Outrun, um, Outrun SP Arcade that are like like sick as hell. And just for whatever reason, we're just like yanked from the shop. So, my God, I think I think this is supposed to slide. Yeah, check this out. Hold on, I was just thinking, not to take us back to Jamestown, but I think it's like here you <laughs> All see. All roads lead to Jamestown. Yeah, Outrunner, hey, uh, Outrunner oh. Arcade at Junior is different from the one that's on Sega Ages. It's a modified version of Outrun 2006 or Outrun uh, Two Coast to Coast, uh, which is the best Outrun game, hands down. I see. It makes it look like you're extending oh. it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Jamestown. <laughs> so for my third and final pick, Finally. We, are, we are going to Oblivion, and we're going to do um, Harvest Dawn. Jeremy Soul. You got Mark, Jeremy. I'm warning you, no comments. You've got Jewel Miles and Jeremy yeah. Soul. Yep. Uh, I heard he uh, is also doing NFTs now, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kevin, I believe you should go first. Nice. All right. After James. <laughs> I'm going to mute myself again. All right. Uh, first up, we've got... Only so I, got, I, had, there. I had two weeks worth of clog, you know, to get out here. Uh, so it's hard to narrow it down to, to just three, but um, I've been like revisiting uh, this um, Hiroshi Sato um, and uh, when you, Wendy Matthews record, Awakening. And uh, I used to think this one was so cheesy, and I really like, I don't know, I, I always thought Wendy's vocal delivery was like really forced and... Um, it just didn't didn't sound like tonally good to me but then like all of a sudden uh i don't know when it was but i, I started listening to this uh, a couple weeks ago and then like all of a sudden wendy's like kind of overwrought over delivered vocals like clicked in a weird way and they started sounding really good again so this is a uh, fun because um you know it's 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 a very kind of americanized album for hiroshi sato uh 
But uh, yeah, this this song, Only a Love Affair, is... Uh, it's a cool song. The chorus is awesome. There's like some sick harmonizing in it where there's like some lightly vocoded uh, vocals in the background from Hiroshi and Wendy's kind of like on the lead vocals. Um, but it's just Sir, kind this of, uh... is a Wendy's? <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah, she, she, they didn't have to go so hard on this song. But uh, uh, yeah, uh, sick tune. Okay. Recommend the uh, whole album. Next, I'm gonna. I'm actually. I'm, I'm gonna skip one. I'm going straight to this one. Uh, we've got my favorites. Hell yeah! Uh, okay, so Steely Dan from "Can't Buy a Thrill," uh, the first Steely Dan record. Uh, Brooklyn owes the charmer under me. Amazing vocal performance by David Palmer. Uh, incredible slide guitar solo by Jeff Baxter. Um, it's just it, it. It hits all of the notes on like what a good Steely Dan song should be, and it's. It's charming in a way that um, only Steely Dan can be with the the kind of scathing tone of the lyrics. But uh, I included this one specifically because it had a David Palmer vocal performance. And I know that a lot of people don't like uh, Donald Fagan's vocals. And I thought that this might be a nice track to get some Steely Dan non-believers on board. So, uh, yeah, Brooklyn knows the charmer under me from Camp I a Thrill. Sorry, it looks well, like James left while you were trying to convert him. <laughs> I know. That, uh, that one almost got you. That pick almost got you canceled, but then you went and totally redeemed yourself. So dance a samba. So yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Getz and Gilberto. Uh, possibly the warmest sounding album I have ever heard in my life. It just sounds my like... Favorite, that's, my, that's my favorite jazz album, question God, mark. So I know good. it's like... Um, really uh, I mean, what uh, about Crazy from the Heat by David Lee Roth? <laughs> you could say that it is warmer because he's crazy. He is crazy it. from the heat. Uh, um, I also would put this album on when I would uh, go tanning. Nice, nice. Yeah, good album to spend time in the sun with. And uh, mm-hmm. my God, the, the saxophone tone in this album is just out of this world. It is like all of the sax solos are just incredible. Uh, but I mean, that's that's what you get, right? Uh, so <laughs> oh, yeah, you, you, know, you, you got you got the best here. You got uh, uh, Jobim, uh, Gilberto, Getz, and um, you got Estrude Gilberto too, uh, doing some nice vocals on most of the songs. It was a hard pick on which one to choose from this album, but uh, I dusted out my my nice uh, Verve vinyl copy of this. It's an original press. I got it for like three dollars from reckless back in the day because the thing looks like it fell out of a car window and then got run over by like five semis but it's still oh, like those verve vinyl are like so incredibly well pressed that they sound incredible even if they're like absolutely destroyed i don't know if they just like pressed the grooves way deeper or if the vinyl is just like so much better quality than whatever crap they're using today but it's like it, it seriously looks like it was mauled by bears, and it plays amazing. Um, but yeah, uh, gotta love Getz and Gilberto. Uh, kind of like tall Paul Gasol. He looked like he was mauled by bears when he played the <laughs> painting. <laughs> uh, Tech, real quick, um, <laughs> remove remove Harvest Dawn from my pigs. So <laughs> get it out of here, because I want to put on, instead... Just the gigolo from David Lee Roth's Crazy from the Heat. <laughs> Just the gigolo slash I ain't got nobody. You s- right. sold your soul. <laughs> exactly. You, you were really listening to your For rock and roll on, <laughs> on vinyl? Hell yeah, dude. That's, That's advanced. You went above and beyond. Hell yeah, doggy. <laughs> uh, I prefer the Louis Prima version of Just the oh. Gigolo because Ooh. I'm a <laughs> Yeah. No, no thanks. No thanks. Absolutely. But seriously, now, I am a millennial. I was born in the 1980s. I know that's a shock. And I have very few select memories from the 1980s because I was a little boy. But I do remember the period of time when uh, my family lived in Chatham Village in Kettering, Ohio. Tech, you know about Chatham Village? Mm-hmm. The apartment complex? So my yes. family lived and I remember my dad had Crazy from the Heat on cassette tape. He was all about it. And it had uh, Just a Gigolo and California Girls on it. 
um, the David Lee Roth versions, and like just the gigolo is like just the sickest chord progression, like amazing, like synth pop, like truly incredible. Um, and that was like one of my first favorite songs uh, when I was super young. Just like the dunga 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 dunga. Just even thinking about it now, like just the gigolo, and everywhere I go, people know the part of me. That's like the foundation of all HCMJ right there. Um, well, uh, Rainy Cake says that was uh, that was her first concert. Uh, oh, no shit. From Hell Detroit. yeah. Oh, that is sick. That is yeah. sick, Rainy Cakes. That is a sick first. Mine was Phil Collins, uh, also when I was a little boy, That's like badass. in the early 90s. He uh, was surrounded by, he was in like a dome of rototoms. And he would run around it in like a circle. <laughs> like, it was uh, really cool. I think my dad saw that tour because he like talked about that exact thing. <laughs> it was fucking crazy. <laughs> um, here's, here's a question for you. Which one is my first concert? Uh, I, when, um, I saw the Smashing Pumpkins. Uh, I asked my dad for money to buy tickets to see the Smashing Pumpkins in, when I was nice. in ninth grade on the... What, on the Adore tour, maybe? Or maybe it was, um... You'll always be my heart. Yeah, it might have been the Machine uh, tour, but no, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Anyway, that, uh, when I was in fourth grade, my dad took me to see Peter, Paul, and Mary. Nice. At, like, Memorial Hall. That counts. Okay. And then when I was, um, like, seven or something, uh, I had to go to a fair, and there was a country singer named Eddie Rabbit that was performing, and I was... That doesn't count. Okay. Yeah. So my first, <laughs> fair my first uh, concert was Peter, Paul, and Mary then. Yeah, because like, I was in... I was forced to go to this with my parents, and I was a little kid. Um, okay. But he ended with, take, take me home, but That's like a 15-minute version, and he oh, like went out into God. the audience and was just like... Sick. I was like, all right, I'm on board. This guy's cool. <laughs> Jesus. Dude, uh, awesome. Nathan, Nathan and Rail uh, just uh, just said that his first concert was Linkin Park and the fucking Prodigy opened for That's him. That's awesome. Jesus. That would be Damn. sick. That I was listening to Linkin Park earlier fuck. today, and Hybrid Theory, <laughs> Hybrid Theory still holds up. It was funny because I, I was telling Mark, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm one step closer to the edge and I'm about to break. Uh, from this audio shit and then I, I linked him to the video and then like the their video is like you know 4-3 aspect ratio but like glorious HD so like they've you know kept good good uh, care of the master files or whatever and then I just let it play and I let like three or four songs play and I was like damn this is like really catchy it, it's not really my thing anymore but like there's a I'm, reason why that paying. stuff stuck yeah I've always, always been seeing that Hybrid Hybrid Theory uh, is one of the best new metal albums. Even though I don't really listen to it, and I there's don't really hooks galore. Listen to that kind it's, of music. It's insane. It's, yeah, it's, it's just like you know, if like all genres of music have like merit, then there's gonna be the best of the, those artists or whatever. I we think should that. make a mixtape that's just like the first, the sick ass first five seconds of all those songs. You know, yeah, it's I know. Just like, 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 doom, like, doom, 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 like that's doom, doom, that's all I need. Doom, doom, I don't no, need no, the, the over the compressed of, guitar. The, the beginning of crawling is so incredible. It's though. So <laughs> sick. Amazing. Yeah. I mean, that's one of the founding principles of New World. It's like, it's like all because I re I remember like uh, listening to classic rock radio in like middle school, and I would hear songs where they would have like incredible synthesizer intros, and then it would just become a shitty rock song. It's like, yeah. just do that cool thing, man. Yeah. Just do that forever. Uh, it's fine. Eight Eight RB One said, "Anyone like Deftones' White Pony?" Yeah, I usually classify that as like, I feel like that's the best one, the best new metal album. They were trying to get me into that in high school, and I said, "This is a bridge too far, guys." I'm James sorry. was kind of into it. He actually, I was kind of into it though. It's, <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Come on. Was there a band like I'm thinking Mudvayne? Do you guys know Mudvayne? Yeah, I remember the T-shirts from high school. Yeah, mm -hmm. I yeah. can't remember name a single song, but my girlfriend was really into new metal at the time, and nice. I guess it was like in high school. But yeah, everybody uh, was always excited about their drummer because he was like really good. Yeah, that's what it was. They're 
musicians at least were. Yeah. Who were seventeen? Where? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> Everybody. Yeah. No, I usually I, I think I would point to like Lincoln Park, uh, White. Well, Deftones in general. System of a Down. Uh, Do they count? Oh, I guess. Yo, System yeah. Of Down. I, mean, like, I was in the System of a Down. Like. Yeah. Uh, that album and, was incredible. And then, like Corn. Mm-hmm. Uh, but only like you know like the first four or whatever. I don't I don't listen to any of it, but it's just like Follow the leader. <laughs> not trying to like assess what was good or whatever. Fucking significant other by Limp Biscuit. I can't deny. No, it's, no it, but that's <laughs> I, I told the story on stream where I was in someone's car and like Limp Biscuit came on and it was my automatic high school response. Oh god! But then I was like, whoa. No, this is like one of the most incredible <laughs> songs I've ever heard. Like, <laughs> I want the fucking Nookie too. Like, shit. Yeah, undeniable. That song is incredibly produced. Like, so, <laughs> so heavy. Like, God. <laughs> all right, all right. We got a little tangent, but let's let's wrap it up here, Mark. We're gonna speed. We're gonna any percent your three songs. Yeah, don't uh, worry, there's, there's no fucking new metal on there, so I won't allow you guys to uh, relive your entire life through new metal, the lens of new metal. Um, okay, well first up, we've got- most cherished memories. We've got, uh, Sorry. we've got an Arca Bjork uh, track. Yeah, I thought I'd put on some some music I was that I was actually listening to, not just to impress you guys. I'm just kidding. I don't do <laughs> either of those things, but um, yeah, yeah you, don't, was, you don't listen was, to music. I don't listen to music, and I don't try to impress anybody. Yeah, um, <laughs> this is like uh, I actually like really really loved the uh, the collaboration that Ark and Bjork did, and I just sort of have been recently listening to more of Arca's stuff. It's Some an of it's like a album bit, cover. Jeez. Super amazing album cover hell? on there. It's like a Magitech yeah. armor. <laughs> yeah, like weird sexual Magitech armor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like pre 3D rendering or something. Pretty sick. Yeah, it rules. And yeah, really like, uh, I like the weird garbled churning kind of production on Arca stuff, so. Uh, I was joking. Like, if you wanted to recreate the Arca sound, just uh, swallow and digest a, com- a contact mic. <laughs> I really do love it. And it's run like. Through a custom Ableton chain. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So that's that's that one. My first, what's my what's my Arca's other great, but I hope that Arca is able to laugh sometimes. You know. <laughs> yeah. I, I really hope that. Why? What uh, happens? I feel like the yeah Arca's music gives me um the like Maynard James Keenan style of like oh, oh like too serious sometimes or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to like it's just it's not. Just, you gotta no, have a sense me. of humor. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, but whatever. It's still Where's good. Jar Jar Binks? You know? <laughs> Com- comedy <laughs> character. Key to the entire storyline. Um, Mark, also known as R23X, picked a song by a similarly named artist uh, under the name R23X. Oh, yeah. Is this illegal? Am I allowed to put my. Yeah, you're allowed to pick yourself. Good lord. You can I don't pick know your what... nose, but you can't pick your friend's nose. What? I, I put I put I do pick my nose sometimes and I did put this track on this is like uh, a self plug I guess but I feel like it's like warrants a little announcement but I was I had the pleasure of working on a, like one of my I guess now second video game soundtrack this is like hell yeah I got to do a couple of bonus tracks for a Apple Arcade coming later to console game called Marble Knights made by Way Forward. Uh, published by Apple on Apple Arcade. Um, Don't yeah, forget about the Great Materia Collective. They, uh, see, I see them in What's the that? credits here, too. Oh, uh, the, the soundtrack's published by Scarlet Moon, and um, I got to basically remix and make some beats for some minigames for this, and uh, work with the awesome composer Dale North. Shout out to Dale North. I'm sure he's not watching this, but he's an amazing <laughs> Hope composer. Hope he's not. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's so and, sick, uh, Mark. You're so fucking cool. I, you know, I just gush about this, and this is exactly what I'm talking about when I say that you are so cool. You yeah. think there? You think anyone's asking me to score a fucking video game? They're like, <laughs> enough of this guy. <laughs> Holy they, shit! They probably log into Twitter and be like, this guy is really, hey, my t- really. <laughs> my Twitter is squeaky clean. I'm, I'm just a, joking. I'm a friendly guy. Someone yeah, came everyone. at me on Twitter saying that I was a mean person. I was like, I tell one mean joke. 
You Five months, that? no mean jokes, you know? <laughs> and someone got really offended by it, and then they yeah. commented on some DDS thing, like, talking, it's like, we're so nice, come on. <laughs> I'm sure there's a million, I'm sure there's a million listicles about DDS being the ultimate video game soundtrack, so, like, I think it's everybody's dream, and it will happen. Yes. Yeah, so. Well, regardless, Mark, we're celebrating you right now, so. Yeah, and we love you, <laughs> and we love you, we support you, we celebrate you. Thank you. I tricked you into giving me compliments by putting my own song on the playlist. But <laughs> yeah, I got to make a uh, post about that, though, on the, on the social media saying that I did that. Yeah, what the hell? Well, finally, you've got uh, a little known artist by the name of Herbie Hancock. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. So this is like my sad story about discovering Herbie Hancock, this track in the Amplitude soundtrack on PS2 rhythm game. It's like, that was my introduction to like, oh my Herbie God. Hancock. And somebody, like my friend was like, dude, Herbie Hancock. I was like, uh, yeah, like pretending to know what he's talking about. Like, <laughs> yeah, the, the guy who signed the Declaration life. of Independence. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was that kind of moment, like just ill-fitting jeans, horrible haircut, playing PS2, didn't know who Herbie Hancock was. That was me. Whenever well, that's that probably about the time that I learned about it. You know, every, you, you got to start somewhere. It's fun. Did you learn playing Amplitude, though? But it's a great <laughs> what, rhythm game. What does it game. matter? Yeah, I mean, I heard, uh, like, uh, Headhunters on, like, the radio or something. No, if, like, honestly, Mark, if, if James won't judge you for it, I will. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I needed to counterbalance the nice things you were saying here. Some counter content here. But that's well, my picks. Well, that's wonderful. I picked uh, three songs that I have not listened to um, in a very long time uh, because I haven't listened to anything that isn't just unreleased DDS music. Um, but I picked a, a, so a song called Off the Record by m the band My Morning Jacket, uh, who were, who were, they were trying to build up in the American media as the successor to Wilco as the American Radiohead, <laughs> which neither band even approximates, but um, regardless, uh, yeah, that's just a fun song. Uh, uh, James and I saw My Morning Jacket live before they had uh, more, uh, like, greater success or whatever. Yeah, they before they were cool, movie. you know. Right, yeah. Uh, we yeah, drove to Pontiac, Michigan in my yeah. 1990 Volkswagen Golf. Barely made it because I just got in a car and was like, let's go to Michigan, no big deal. We, we, put, we put Gus's uh, CD player, Boombox, in the back windshield of the car so that we had music and then we just played cds from that uh we'd skip if we bumped um anyway uh so that yeah uh i just was thinking about that song and then i also picked uh the song planes by jeremiah j cole uh which was just a, a big hit from a few years ago that i really liked and again was just thinking about uh it's a uh, it's good. And then, um... Any yeah. Grammy picks? Yeah, right. Jeez. Yeah, that T-Swift, uh... Glad, well, you know, I'm glad she won. She deserved it. So, no, Pyro scene I'm by... gonna let you finish, but... <laughs> uh, Late Nights, the album by... <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, finally, a band Sorry. called Genghis Tron, um, who is, a like, an electronic metal band. Um, New metal? Uh, no. Um, <laughs> they uh, they they play like like real metal, but then they have like a a drummer that's just a like um, you know not a real person, um, but not what do you fucking call it? Sequence drums? Um, An SD four hundred four. Yeah, a droid. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they use MIDI. Uh, and uh, there's something to be said about Genghis Tron. Uh, because they're sort of ridiculous, but like, kind of awesome. Um, but then anyway, they disappeared uh, for like, I don't know. I feel like this is like their first. They're coming out with a new album in like ten days, and it's like their first new album in since like two thousand eight or something. Yeah, um, they did. They did pop off the radar for a while. I remember that. They used to be really yeah, big. Uh, but the they've they've popped back onto the radar. Yeah. This one and uh, anyway, so really I picked big. this song called Pyrocene that I listened to about two minutes of the other day. It's six minutes, so hopefully the last <laughs> one is good. Uh, and uh, those, those are my picks. Nice. Well, uh, well, hey, what happens if if you hit the the minus 
button. Can you move your thumb down and hit that button to see what happens? Let's zoom out. What do you think? <laughs> Holy Christ. See you. Oh, I think you're.